Hello there everybody, Thomas Pollock here from Profile Tree. Gonna show you a Premiere Pro um, workspace and workflow tutorial for getting started for short filmmaking. Um, so first off, this is for people mainly who are doing their independent films, doing DSLR footage or anything like that. And just to get started, we'll open up Premiere and open a new project. And so this is for people who are absolutely new to it and are looking to do short films. And you'll see the difference between a short film workflow and other video editing. And we'll, this will be in chapters, so this will be the beginning stuff. If you want to skip on into the next tutorials, go ahead. Um, I'll put the links below. So first of all, like this name your project. Um, I'm just going to put in film example. And then you've got all these different settings, video rendering and playback. And this is basically what is going to be rendering the footage when it goes to the final output and throughout. So you're going to want to use your graphics card. If you don't have a graphics card, then you just want to use your onboard CPU. Uh, simple enough. Display format, just don't touch anything else. Don't worry about those other settings. Scratch disks, NGS settings, don't worry about those yet. Uh, let's just go straight in and open up a project. So, at the minute, you can see, I'll, I'll bring over, I have two monitors, but we're just going to stick to one, because I'm sure most people are looking at this using one monitor. So here is what your workspace is going to look like uh, at the get-go. And as you can see, there's just lots of stuff everywhere, all over. And you've got all these different options. So I think the first thing to show you what to do is how to import your media. And this, is, this goes the same for any editing software. Simply with Premiere, what you have to do is you can drag and drop files. Um, here is an example of what I'll be putting in. So you can just go to the folder and grab things in, drag it in, or you can double click where it says import media to start and you'll get all this footage and stuff like that. So you can also import the folder. So say you have all your folders in here ready to go. What will happen is you'll import that and it will create bins. And bins I'll show you as soon as we import. So just for the sake of it, let's, um, let's import this folder. Shoot day one as an example of the footage that you've just done from yesterday or something. You just let that import. So that's created my folder, and it's also created my subfolder, which is a bin now in Premiere, translates it to a bin. And to create new bins, you just need to right-click and hit New Bin and rename it, and that's how you can organize and categorize your files. So say you had one for sound effects, one for music, one for anything like that, one for certain shoots, and that's a way to start to organize it when you work on bigger, longer projects. And so, you're able to preview your clips in, in the bin. You can see the bin just popped up here, and you have a lot of flexibility. You can move this window around, or you can drag it down here, and then you're able to just have it sitting down here, and then it'll open again. But if you wanted to have multiple tabs, and you can move all these windows, so say you're... Uh, you want to put your timeline up there, you can do that if you want. You can, you're able to make it larger here as well. So very flexible and you've got all your different uh, things here you've got media browser that's if you want to go look for files without leaving premiere libraries we can leave that alone for now then you've got all your effects uh, but first off we're just going to show you how to do timelines um, so you can hit control n that's one of the shortcuts or you can go to file um, new and then new sequence and this is how you're going to have time uh, timelines and sequences and i will get in more to workflow in the next video uh, showing you how I would edit a short film, everyone can do it differently, but this is a way that would make sense for most people. So with the camera I use, it was a DSLR, so let's say, well, most of you are probably shooting for 24 frames as a film, since that is film frames per second. So say uh, you've done all your shooting, and you, what you want to do is you want to make th a thing called a string out, and that is essentially just all your footage, everything you've shot, and that's where you're going to sync up your footage if you have recorded external audio and I have done an example to show you how to sync up but that's another thing I'll show you either later on in the video or in the next video so let's say this is string out of day one of your shoot okay so that creates your timeline and this is where your timeline is now and what that did is it created the sequence right here in that folder I'll just drag that here so you can see it better uh, so that's now here you know if you close this you can just reopen it like that. Simple as that. And so that's your timeline. This is, you know, you can scrub through. You just click and scrub through. You've got this little arrow. And then you've got all your different layers. So you've got a video layer. 
and your audio layer is separated and you're able to move this up and down if you want to. Um, and it's quite straightforward. I'll show you once I start dragging clips in. Um, sort them by name, whatever way you want, usually by name, depending on where you've numbered your files or anything. So this is just a bunch of random footage that I have. To show, we use an example. Some of it has synced to audio, some of it doesn't. The last few clips do. Um, so say this is everything I shot that day. I'm going to throw all that in, and that should be in order. Yeah, let it change your sequence settings to, so it gets the best settings that you have on uh, for some of the clips. And so now we've got all the footage in here. So it's three minutes of footage, and I'm able to scroll through. And you can hit space bar to hit play. And then you've got the keyboard shortcuts, which we'll get into. So J, K, and L is essentially what you should know from the get-go. And L is to start, uh, K is to stop, and J is to rewind. Double tap, you go faster. Simple as that. And the, this is... You know, you can change your keyboard shortcuts to whatever you want, but this is pretty standard for video editing, and you'll see how much easier it makes things for you when you come to editing uh, a film or anything at all. So we've got all your footage here, and what you can see is it's created a video layer and an audio layer. And so this is one layer. Now say you wanted to, ha you wanted to move this, or you wanted to put your clip somewhere else. Uh, simply you can drag it, so that's going to video layer 2, as you can see. But the audio stays in audio layer 1, so you can shift that down so it's in audio layer 2. So that makes a little bit of sense when you come to shifting it around, you're able to layer it over other clips. Um, we can get more into that soon too. So the first thing people usually do when they're uh, editing a short film is they sync their audio. For a lot of DSLR filmmakers, that is what what is the case. You're recording on a Zoom H4 or something like that and you want to sync your audio up. So I have my audio files here. Only two of them are actually syncable audio. So we can go ahead and stick that in here. Okay, to start syncing your audio then, you can just go ahead, drag and drop right in, and then what you want to do is look for where obviously your audio has been synced. So these first clips, I didn't record any external audio, but you'll see here I have put myself in... Um, I should really, I'll show you in the next video with actual film footage to give you a real good um, feel for uh, how you would actually edit a film. But for just for an example, I've recorded myself using the Zoom. Um, you can see where the audio peaks. Um, this is where I didn't have a clacker board, but you as well all know once you're filming, you have a clacker board, and that's how you get your, your sync sound. So what you do is you look for the sound wave, and you match that up. Um, you see, match it up quite well and a little tip for getting more accurate syncing is right click up up here on the timeline and hit show audio time units and this will allow you to be a lot more precise with your motion and as you can see i'm doing a lot of uh, little tiny shortcuts as well uh, so if you scroll up and down that lets you go left and right on your timeline if you hold in alt and start scroll up and down. You'll be able to do that, and you can also you can also do that down here too by dragging. Uh, but you'll see it's it becomes a lot more quicker once you know how to do all the shortcuts. So anyway, syncing the audio up with the sound of me clapping as a reference point to get the audio synced up. So you can see the sound waves just about match, um, and that's simply it. You do that with that one. Then I have my other clip for my second video where I got signed. I did two claps, you don't have to do two claps, of course, but I did just four for the sake of it. And then, so I stick that in. And it's quite a long process, the more clips you have, but you'll see the result. And then you can, um, so you can see yeah, the green one here is the audio that I've just put in. And then this one is obviously the audio for the video, the built-in camera audio. So you're able to mute and solo tracks um, simply by clicking the button. Um, so I, I'm going to go ahead and mute this track for now, and I'll show you how you can delete tracks and unlink footage and stuff uh, pretty soon. So I'm going to mute that uh, built-in audio so we can hear the externally recorded audio. You have the clacker board, obviously, but I don't have the board right now. Simple as that. Okay, obviously the footage isn't in, uh, in focus or anything like that, but uh, I'm not here to show you how to set up a shot, I'm just here to show you how to edit. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's simple as that. That's how you get your footage. And for instance, say you do not want this. I don't do this myself, but if you don't want that layer anymore, once you've got your synced up audio and you want to link it, so when you move your clip, 
you don't have to move both or have to even click on both uh, to move it. You can right click uh, the video with the built-in audio and unlink it. And then you're able to delete that audio. And then you can click, hold and shift, click on the audio that you want to, you want to connect it to and hit link. And now that is part of the, uh, the video. But uh, I, I like to keep the built-in audio just in case something happens down the line. What you can just do is mute it and make it very small so it's not taking up any space. Uh, that's what I would do. Okay, so another thing I can show you, that is how you sync audio, but I could also show you how to look at your footage, uh, just not in the timeline, but when you're previewing it. And you can double click and look at it up in your source monitor, which is up here in the left. So if I double click on the shuttle of cars or something, this it'll bring it up right here. And this is... And on the right is my timeline preview in the sequence. So you can see the difference, obviously. Uh, this has not been imported in the timeline. This stuff is. So how do we get that into the timeline? Say you were watching this and you had particular clips that you liked about it that you wanted to import. So what I can do is I can watch the clip and I can create my in and out points. Uh, you can do it here. You can hit I or you can hit this button here and then hit uh, mark out. Or you can do O, so I and O, in and out. Very straightforward, very self-explanatory there. So now we have a clip. We can see the little marking point that it has made, and that is a clip. Say I want to use that clip and put it in. I can choose to grab just the video or just the audio, or if I want both, I just simply grab from the source monitor and drag it into the timeline like so. And it's simple as that. That is some of the basics with uh, Premiere Pro. There's a whole lot of other settings. Um, here is your quality preview. Here is the size preview. If you have an external monitor, you can drag that over, full screen it, whatever. Then you have all these different settings, file, edit, clip, sequence, markers, graphics, window. Window is where you can change workspaces. But we'll get into that in the next video, I think. Uh, that shows some idea of the basics of Premiere Pro when you come in to do a short film. In the next one, we'll get a lot more comprehensive and, and dig into uh, other processes such as workflow and the different workspaces that are available and just more, more different things. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.